Hi, my name is Denise Kiernan. I'm the author of The Girls of Atomic City. This is History in Five, and I'm here to talk to you today about life in the secret cities of the Manhattan Project. During World War II, the United States War Department developed a program that was going to be designed to harness the power of fission. This project that they created would eventually become known as the Manhattan Project, and the result of that project was the creation of the first atomic bombs. Now, the reason the Manhattan Project is called the Manhattan Project is as the program was first getting started out, their initial offices were in and around New York City. But in late 1940, the headquarters of the Manhattan Project moved down to a town that would eventually be named Oak Ridge, Tennessee. This was not a town that had existed before. It was created specifically for the Manhattan Project. From the time that they began construction of the plants and the support facilities in late 1942, through mid-1945, Oak Ridge's population exploded to nearly 80,000 people, and the town was using more electricity than New York City. Oak Ridge's purpose was to enrich uranium for the first atomic bomb ever used in combat, and massive plants were created in order to do just this. Thousands of people were recruited from all over, and the vast majority of these people had no idea what it was specifically that they were working on. Many of these people were recruited right out of high school. Dot, one of the women in my book, grew up in rural Tennessee. She was walking the halls of her high school her senior year when she was approached by a recruiter who asked if she might be interested in some war work in another part of the state. So she took a very simple test, answered some questions, and off she went. She was not told before arriving in Oak Ridge what she was going to be doing. And once she arrived, she was not told what the project was working on. Doing something for the war effort meant an awful lot to her. And because of people like Dot and the thousands of others who came from all over the United States, Oak Ridge sprung to life literally overnight. Throughout the United States and other parts of the world, World War II represented a very unique moment in the history of women's work. Oak Ridge was a functioning town, so the variety of jobs available there ranged widely. There were administrative positions, teaching positions, transportation positions, and also there were positions that were a little more unique to the specific work that was going on in Oak Ridge. Women were working in highly developed plants doing very specific tasks that had never been done before on this scale. Even though women were not in tremendous positions of power within the Manhattan Project, they were absolutely essential to it and it simply would not have happened, would not have succeeded without all of the women who worked on it. The goal of the Manhattan Project was top secret. Now, the idea of loose-lipped sinking ships was not unusual during World War II, no matter where you worked. But for the Manhattan Project especially, secrecy and security dominated the landscape. For example, there were, there were gates and guards and checkpoints. Everyone who lived there had to carry a specific badge. And everywhere, just in case you forgot, were numerous billboards and signs telling everyone how important it was not to talk about what they were doing, even if they didn't understand specifically what purpose it served. Oak Ridge's plants operated around the clock, 24 hours a day. People worked in shifts, but they also played in shifts. In order to offset some of the stress that resulted from such an intense work schedule, a very robust recreational program was created. So the same people who were riding buses to the plants together were also going to dances several nights a week and playing on sports teams that were organized at work. So what happened was, although the government never really planned it, a very unexpected community began to blossom. 
The vast majority of people working in Oak Ridge learned the purpose of their work on August 6, 1945, when the first atomic bomb ever used in combat was detonated over Hiroshima, Japan. After that, many of the people who worked in Oak Ridge wondered if the town would continue to exist or if it would just be shut down with the end of the war. Many of them were happy to realize that Oak Ridge would in fact continue to exist. And in fact, today, many decades later, Oak Ridge is still there and you can go visit many of the sites that I mention in my book, The Girls of Atomic City.